Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Up to Speed today, getting the latest of everything that's happening around and inside Verizon. We're gonna be talking to the Verizon Business Group about how they've been keeping our customers connected and sharing a very inspiring employee story, whether you wanna stick around to watch that. So starting off with Mike Bickle, who leads a team of about 10,000 V-teamers around the world as part of our business group operations team. Like I said earlier, they're keeping a lot of customers connected. Mike, how are you and how's the team doing? Yeah, thanks, Jeremy. It's great to be here and a huge shout out to all of our team members around the world that's doing fantastic work for our clients every day. So, you know, as you mentioned, our customer service organization has team members all over the world, wherever our customers are located that handle overall service fulfillment, project managers and engineers that support technology designs and capability transformations for our clients, operations personnel who care for the network and security of our customer environments and customer service functions like billing and technical support. The team su supports customers from small to large multinational clients and public sector customers across cities, states, federal governments, and education. You know, what's really been rewarding to witness during this period is how much Verizon services and the work our employees do every day impact literally everything in the global economy. We partner with clients to enable the movement of literally hundreds of thousands of their workers to be productive from home. We've worked with grocery stores and other critical retailers that were seeing challenges in their supply chains to better enable access to information and communication tools to get the right products to their stores and on the shelves to serve their communities. We've worked with healthcare providers to significantly expand their call capacity to allow their patients to reach the healthcare providers. We've supported uh, communication services for pop up hospitals and healthcare clinics. Our clients in the financial service industry, as everyone is aware, saw a huge spike in trading demands in March and April and needed additional network capacity to keep up, which we were able to deliver almost on demand. And as we've all experienced, the world has seen a mass rapid adoption of collaboration tools such as WebEx, Zoom, and Teams that we enable for our clients. And they've taxed, frankly, the service providers. For one of those companies, we enabled over a terabyte of connectivity to the internet within hours of receiving the request. And while collaboration tools and video conferencing have seen incredible growth, we've also doubled our volumes for good old fashioned Verizon hosted audio conferencing. As leaders look to communicate changes to their employees and governments look to coordinate their emergency response to their constituents. One example of that was a call we supported for the Center for D Disease Control that had 10,000 participants. And in the broader public sector space, we provided devices and connectivity to support at-home learning. We've helped stand up creative solutions for numerous states to expand their ability to handle unemployment claims. And of course, we've enabled first responders in cities as well as organizations like the Red Cross to provide emergency support to their citizens. I've had customers tell me that we've helped them complete two years of business transformation in less than two months. Now, unfortunately, with all the change, with employees moving to their homes and customers trying to enable more digital service methods for their end clients, we've seen a huge spike in bad actors out there trying to take advantage of the situation and it's exploit weaknesses in customers' infrastructures. And our managed security team has been working overtime to protect our clients. You know, on a lighter note, as we've all been working from home, I think we've all seen our some of our favorite TV personalities working from home. And without getting too specific, Verizon provided many of them the connectivity to make that work. So as you see, Jeremy, you know, literally uh, on a human level and from small to large, commercial sector to, to, to government, Verizon's really powering uh, the overall global economy. Mike, your team is just doing incredible stuff. I hear it time and time again. They are the team that gets stuff done. It's interesting to see how they have adapted over the past few months and how they're setting themselves up for success to help customers into the future. Take a look at how they're going to make that happen.
It was really right at that peak where everything changed immediately, right? It felt like we were building to something as COVID was becoming more and more of a narrative and then all of a sudden, bam, we're there. In a blink of an eye, we moved from working in the office to that home base model. And I'll tell you, we never skipped a beat. I think it was the first time I realized that even though the world is changing by going remote, it is still the same. Like we still have a job to get done. And I, I genuinely think as a as a company and how we've responded, we've excelled. The organization really leaned in to the situation. And certainly I've seen individuals and teams go that extra mile to really you know, support their customer and, and, and do the right thing for the customer. As our credo says, we run to crisis, we don't run away from it. And we have shown it time over time. And this is no different. The relationship and the service that we provide what makes the difference. The trust that we built up over the years was able to, you know, overcome the, the lack of being with somebody face to face. I think our clients are waking up to the fact that, you know, Verizon is you know, an immensely capable partner for them. We had a thousand documented, just proactive call reach outs where we were calling our customers and saying, hey, we're back up online, we're working from home, what do you need now? It's made our customers closer to our employees, I, I think, by and large, throughout this entire period. They see that we see them as humans, that we are here for them, and, and Verizon understands what they're facing, and we will do everything in our power to help them through this. Certainly over the last couple of months, one of the things that's really impressed me is the way the team has come together. And interestingly, I think it's been an opportunity to learn more about the individuals in our extended team. And I think inevitably that, that, that's that got to be a good thing. I'm finding that at all levels, communication has just opened up even more. It's not just a status check call, it's a fluid conversation that's happening. And I think that's something that's really opened my eyes, that something so simple could be so impactful. I've talked to more people in IT and more people in the logistics department that I've ever thought I'd ever talked to. I and mean, I think really just everyone's willingness to step in, help out, and really make sure that the customer experience is forefront has been the most impressive thing that I've seen. Coming off the back of this, I would say that it has been a catalyst for more uh, radical thinking around the way that we deliver services. It's almost proven to ourselves of what we can accomplish. And I think that's something to be said. I, I also think it's made us a little bit more agile, a little more nimble. I think one of the lessons learned is around how we operate under pressure. We are able to move from emotion to action instantly. I think what will come out of this is a renewed confidence for ourselves, a new renewed assurance for ourselves that we, we can design and deliver for these clients. There's a difference now is rather than being treated like a supplier, many more of our clients are talking to us and treating us like partners. And that's, that can only but be goodness. We build the networks that move the world forward. That has never been more apparent than the pandemic and helping out our customers because now we have that very strong purpose of, of helping and understanding that our, our customers are vital. Mike, you've got to be awful proud of what the team has done to make all of this happen. How does that make you feel? You know, I think the thing that's been most impressive um, is that our team supported all of the change for our clients that we talk about at the same time that our team was mobilizing the move from home as well. So, you know, through all of it, we kept our eyes on the customer needs and we found a way to make things happen. And for May, our net promoter scores from our transactional surveys reached an all time high across the business, which tells me that not only are we continuing to deliver for our customers, but they appreciate it. And I believe the way we're engaging with them will yield long lasting effects on their loyalty towards Horizon. Thanks so much for joining us, Mike, and thanks to the team for sharing everything they've done. Now, a few other items of note from our Verizon business group. Blue Jeans by Verizon is a trusted enterprise grade video conferencing and events platform. As we all know, they have announced a core set of new features for meeting security, engagement, and time management to augment all of the folks who are working from home. These latest enhancements are driven by customer demand and will help remote workers stay safe, stay connected, and stay productive. Verizon Connect has launched an extension of its integrated video product for fleet-based customers. 
technology uses artificial intelligence and machine learning to help improve safety, mitigate risk, and improve driver behavior. Verizon Business announced a program today to support women-owned businesses, which will provide valuable resources for female and minority-owned small business owners, and it will also include mentorship, coaching, and access to Yahoo Small Business Business Maker. The new monthly webinar series, Return to Business as Unusual, will kick off today for enterprise businesses. The first event, the new trajectory for telehealth, will take place at 2 p.m. Eastern. Renowned business journalist, author, and Emmy nominee Ron Insana will lead that with a Harvard professor. Link for you to join here on the web. Sure, there's a lot of stuff happening in the business world. We'll continue to bring you those updates. Now, George is back from the Tiki Lounge with a look at the Lenovo Flex 5G. It's a new laptop exclusive to Verizon. George, take it away. Hey, I'm back with another 5G first, but this time I'm not showing off a new smartphone or even a hotspot. Today, I've got the brand new Lenovo Flex 5G, the world's first 5G laptop available exclusively from Verizon on June 18th. Let's check out why it's so awesome. First up, the Lenovo Flex 5G is powered by Qualcomm's new Snapdragon ACX 5G, a computing platform that gives you the speed and performance of a premium desktop PC, but it's an ultra thin modern laptop. On top of that, it gives you access to Verizon's 5G ultra wideband network, so you can collaborate and create content with multiple people in real time. You can edit video in the cloud while video chatting and get faster response time while gaming. It also works great on Wi-Fi and on Verizon's 4G LTE network. On the outside, the Lenovo Flex 5G is crafted from premium aluminum and wrapped in this soft touch magnesium that's super comfortable to hold. It also has a wide angle 14 inch touchscreen that gives you a perfect balance between portability and usability. And with all day battery life, you can work and play from just about anywhere without worrying about charging up. Did I mention that the Flex 5G is also a two in one convertible? Simply fold in half, flip it over and it transforms into a full-size Windows 10 tablet, so you can easily read long articles in bed and watch movies on a plane without having to worry about not having room for a laptop, or use a Lenovo stylus to sketch or take notes. Fold it into tent mode and your kids can use it as a touchscreen display for remote learning, or you can kick back and binge watch your favorite TV shows. It's extremely useful if someone in your home is hogging up the TV to watch Real Housewives of New Jersey. For business users, the Lenovo Flex 5G is packed with safeguards to keep your files and personal info away from prying eyes. It includes enterprise-grade security features like Windows Hello and an integrated IR camera that recognizes you and only you. Visit verizonwireless.com to learn more about pricing, get info on our new 5G laptop plan, and find out all about the cool accessories coming out for the Lenovo Flex 5G. Thank you, George. That is exciting. Now, Brad Porius is a very energetic solution specialist from San Diego, California, and he attributes that positive energy to getting him through a really rough year. Here's Brad's story. My name is Brad Forries, and I am a solution specialist at Verizon. I work out of San Diego, and I've been with the company for three years now, and it's absolutely amazing. I was diagnosed on April 20th of 2019 with stage four non-Hodgkin lymphoma with the tumor that was encasing my T10 vertebrae. Months prior to that, I was going through probably the most excruciating pain I've ever dealt with. A lot of functional movements that we do throughout the day, I was never able to do for months. No one could tell me what was going on until I read a certain article that stated, you should request an MRI. So they turn on the computer, they're like, all right, so here's the imaging. And then you see that little black spot right there. That's a tumor. And it's growing at a very exponential rate that if you had waited just say a few more weeks, if it touched your spinal cord, you will not be able to walk ever again. That right there broke me down. And I had never been given news so detrimental. The following day, I started having surgical teams come and visit me in the hospital. Now, my case alone is about one in seven in the world. They were like, hey, we would love to perform this surgery on you, but we must tell you that you'll have a 50% chance of walking coming off the table. The other option was chemotherapy, spinal taps, radiation, you name it, I went through it. I was never able to leave my bed or even sit up at all without getting the gnarliest head rush, migraine, worst pain ever imaginable. I put myself through it so that I could walk coming out of this. 
with my support system that I had, it felt like just another walk in the park for me. And that's what helped me maintain the positive energy, maintain the positive outlook. My district manager, he reached out to me every single week, checking in on me, every single week. They helped out a lot. They were always there. They tended to everything I needed. I've never worked for a company that's as loving and caring for their employees as Verizon is. Today's your graduation, it's for a good cause. Give the bell a good ring and receive your applause. <laughs> About a month ago now, I was given the news I'm in remission. That's the news I've been waiting to hear. Now I, I feel amazing, I feel unstoppable, and I feel like I can take life head on. I want to motivate others. I want everybody to feel determined to make the best version of themselves. Don't let the past dictate where you want yourself to be in the future. Make this day count. Let's empower each other and let's build a better future. Brad, what an incredible story. Thank you for sharing it with us. It is so good to see that you are doing so well and that energy is infectious. And uh, I know other people will benefit from that story. Hey, if you've got a story you'd like to share, you can email it to us. The email address is good at verizon.com. And this Sunday is Father's Day. I know a lot of dads out there on the V team have spent a lot of extra time with their kids this year. Katie turned her motherhood blog over to V team dad, Mike Talenko, to get a view into a week in the life with his family in Ohio. Give that a look and happy early Father's Day to all the dads out there. What a time that you can reconnect with folks, let people know you're thinking about them. Don't forget to do that. We'll be back again with you tomorrow. And until next time, you're up to speed.